TikTok organic drop shipping is the best opportunity for 90% of you guys watching this by achieving thousands and thousands of dollars. And that's why me and Mikey again have collaborated in this video to motivate you and teach you on how you can go viral time and time again in 2024. So let's just get straight into the nitty gritty. How much money have you made with TikTok drop shipping so far? Revenue $600,000. Wow. Yeah. I just did my expenses. I just checked recently. Wow. And how long did it take you to achieve them numbers? That was all 2023. Wow. Yeah. And if yeah. you don't mind me asking, the profit margin? All right, let's get into this. We're going straight into it. So it's supposed to be $300,000. But then I checked my expenses. All the creators and everything made it go all the way back down. So I ended up with $130,000, which is still crazy. I just want to say a massive congratulations because that is insane to achieve. It's not easy to do it. When did the idea come in your mind about drop shipping? All of the businesses that you can start in 2023, 2024, why did you decide to do drop shipping? I'm not going to lie. It was, I guess it was more of an ego thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to work for anybody. Affiliate marketing, low key, I'm not going to lie. felt like I'm still kind of working for someone else. Thinking about it now, I guess affiliate marketing is probably a good way to go. Now, you don't have to tell me, but I'm sure everyone wants to know how many drop shipping stores do you have at this current moment that are actively being run? I'm currently testing five. So this morning, I literally just filmed for like five products and I have four active and generating sales. Now, the thing that everyone wants to know, what is the hardest part of TikTok dropshipping? The hardest part is more, it's more of a mental thing because it's very unlikely that you go viral on your first like 10 videos or something. You should keep in mind that you should film like at least 100 videos before you even worry about making any money. So the hardest part is going through that initial stage of does this actually work? Am I wasting my time filming all these videos and all those things? But overall, it evens out to some form of consistency. So it's the ups and downs and the initial stages that makes it problematic. In your videos, you talk about the burner method. Now we're talking about how to find viral drop shipping products, by the way. You talk about going on TikTok, searching for keywords, turning that burner device into a hot viral product finder, basically. Is that method still valid? Or is there anything new you want to share? My, that's still my main product research method, but I don't do it myself. I've outsourced it to two VAs, which I found on Upwork. So I'm paying them both 700 a month and they fill out a sheet of 10 products a day. So they do that same product research method, TikTok, and they also do it on Instagram as well. So I get 20 products a day and I literally just scroll through. So if you check on my calendar, there's like a 30 minute slot of product research where I literally just go over what the VAs do. But I've also been looking into AliExpress because honestly, like the banner method is very great. But like sometimes you want to catch a product before it even ever goes viral on TikTok. Because if you do that, you could make, you will make most money than anyone else. It's just that it's a lot harder to know which product is good. You should have some experience before you even select any product on AliExpress. Out of the whole TikTok organic going viral, what is the secret ingredient that generates success throughout every product? I mean, I wouldn't say every single product would work, but in general, first thing, first, 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 first thing is the product itself. Mm -hmm. I have this product that I've been running for a very, very long time, which we can get into later. When I first tested it, literally all I had to do was just like, show it to the screen and then do some funny sound or something. And it just went viral on its own, crazy. You don't need to have like the best like skill in terms of filming and editing and everything. First things first, product. There's someone who literally last month, January did $130,000 in profits, which was what I made the whole last year in one month with TikTok shop. Profits, take home in the bank. If that's not enough proof that this organic thing still works i don't know what to tell you for the last three uploads that i've done they've all been about tiktok organic because i still see it as a viable method we started doing tiktok organic in 2020 and we are still doing it today so talk to me about when you create content for your product do you just copy the most successful video the competitors doing do you care about trending sounds do you care about trending hashtags get this out of your head everyone should forget about this hashtags don't matter what hashtags do is if you search for led light on tiktok if your video has gone viral only if it has gone viral 
If you have a hashtag on that video, it's likely to show up in the search. Hashtags are just for search. They do not help you go viral at all. How much time prior to testing that product, because you're saying you give the product two weeks, right? So how much time prior does it take you to get to the point where you want to try a product out and film all the content ready to post for two weeks? Does it take you two weeks to do that, a week to do that, a month to do that? I don't really do batch filming because I like instant feedback and I like to be able to react. So I film every day, two videos a day, a week, a little over a week yep. before I even start testing the products. I post two times a day per phone. And, and how many phones are you doing? two i do uk us i used to do like five but then it wasn't sustainable and it wasn't getting any results so i post on a uk phone and i post on a us phone so let's break down that before we carry on because people are going to want to know what's this us phone and what's this uk phone explain to me how it works logistically. <sighs> The SIM card method that everybody keeps asking about in the SIM. If you want to target the US, ideally go to Amazon.com, search for US SIM card, search for UK SIM card, order it, put it in your phone, download TikTok. That's pretty much it. If you want to be sure it works, go to the trending sounds. You'll see UK Hot 50, US Hot 50, blah, blah, blah. That's how you know for sure it works. Now that you know it works, don't blame the sim card for anything else don't say oh i'm getting zero views is the sim card forget forget about that it's a different problem let's address some of the myths before we carry on which is can you damage this device by you know going on certain websites that can shadow ban it or make tiktok figure out that you're not really in the us or can you do whatever you want on these devices and still be fine yeah you yeah you can do anything you want people will say you have to do like apple ids and everything but like it doesn't matter at the end of the day like my uk and my us sim both have the same apple id which is a uk apple id mm -hmm. they don't have a vpn they both have the same uk time like i haven't switched to a us time or anything it's literally like the same phone but i just put a different sim in it you can go to any website you can do anything you want it doesn't matter at the end of the day tiktok knows no matter what you do tiktok knows where you are what about putting multiple accounts on one device i have eight which is the max you can have. So always. you do eight accounts per device. Yeah. Now, do you mix dummy accounts that are product research? So basically what I'm trying to say is for one device, will you mix product research accounts with posting accounts? Yeah, I have a burner account on this phone. Yeah, so literally, I literally have eight accounts on one phone. This account right here is my burner account. 260,000 followers. <laughs> Wow. So this is going to be my next uh, video. A lot of followers, but not a lot of revenue. Yeah, that's the problem sometimes, yeah, right? Yeah, it happens. It just shows the reality of dropshipping. So yeah, forget about whether it's trending or not. Shh. Bro. Okay, okay, okay. I'm back. I'm back. Let me run you through the method of how I test products. You have the products in your possession. First thing you do is, yes, go to your competitors, see what's working. Because at the end of the day, you might have the best idea in the world, but it may not work because TikTok is different. Like certain things work on TikTok. If you have a competitor doing this and you ha you see something they are doing that's right, like bro, just steal their stuff. Like I hate saying this because a lot of people steal my stuff now, but copy what's working, copy it for a bit. And if you don't really see any progress, first of all, it's either your skill level is not on point. You need to get your content on par with your competitor first of all. If it is on point, they ask, instances where you still won't go viral which happened to me you need to add some kind of twist to it maybe add a little bit more controversy or something the video have a little bit more spark make it a little bit better than the competitor what's the most craziest thing or controversial thing that you've done in your video to help it go viral i'm gonna let you tell yours and then i'm gonna tell mine <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say this. <laughs> uh, if it gives the product away, don't say it. If... No, 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 no. It's just very embarrassing. Okay, bro, let me tell you mine. Well, it isn't mine. Basically, I partnered up with a few guys. Uh, these guys were amazing. They used to do very, very funny sounds, like ASMR crazy sounds. And they used to always wear Spider-Man masks in the videos because people are like, what are these kids doing with these masks on? And they'd look stupid. Yours can't be that bad. You got me worried now. What the hell were you doing, bro, in these videos? It's annoying because it's still live as well. Some of them, maybe like I, like you show your feet and everything. Like you not got nice feet. I mean, I do, but like at the end of the day, feet are weird. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe sometimes you grow out your nails intentionally just to make. Oh, it. <laughs> oh bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want to subscribe to my OnlyFans, the link is in the description. So you're growing out your toenails yes. and take. <laughs> 
that's not even the worst one. The worst one, yeah, I can't say it. I can't say it. I cannot say it. Now, to give you viewers some context, why is me and Mikey here today? I'm going to take the viewer down a bit of memory lane. So I remember, I think it was about a year and a half ago, you made a video on your YouTube channel where you reviewed my infamous free course <laughs> and uh, you wanted to see how well it went. I, I saw that video. I commented on the video. I even reached out to Mikey saying, really good job. You've done a really good job here. And since then, I followed Mikey's journey on YouTube because he's done really, really well, honestly. So looking back, now you've achieved all this success, what would be one thing that you would change that would have sped up your progress and success if you could go back? I mean, it's pretty much directly going straight to TikTok Organic because when I started, I literally had no money to do anything else. I didn't go viral after like two weeks or something and then I, I just gave up. I also decided to start my YouTube channel. Luckily, you, Wait, I've noticed that anytime you post this, your free course, it always goes viral. Mm -hmm. And it, so I knew I could capitalize on the search views. So I literally just made the YouTube video, trying out Income King's dropshipping course and then bruv. Right now it's sitting at 200,000 views. So that was pretty much what blew me up for the first time. So I have to say thank you very much for that. Appreciate that. Well, I'm glad that somebody that got the benefit was to a good person at the end of the day and not to the wrong person. So I'm happy that it went to the right person. Thank you, thank you. And that was pretty much where I started making some kind of money. And then I put all that money back into ads. Now, the bit that most beginners struggle with is learning, but then taking action. So how, do you, how did you at the start divide learning and then take an action because i feel like a lot of people watch our videos binge our videos but never take action i mean at the end of the day i feel like you will never really mm. find the balance because mm -hmm. like you're a beginner you don't have anyone to help you you are in a space where most people are stuck in the matrix they have a regular job regular this that that so it's very unlikely you're going to have somebody who will guide you watch some videos to understand the general overview and then start trying out. Maybe watch some tutorials on how to build a Shopify store and then just practice building the store. If you have problems, go back to the video. Should be some kind of back and forth thing where you're actually actively act taking action, watching videos. Like just don't watch videos and do nothing because at the end of the day, a lot of people say it and it is true. Like you just get a high from just watching the content. You mm. feel like you're being productive, but you're not. Mm. Like, you won't get anywhere. So before we move on with today's video, I want to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, which is Gelotto. Now, if you guys don't know what Gelotto is, they are the best print-on-demand company for e-commerce and drop shipping. Now, if you don't know what print-on-demand is, you've been sleeping under a rock. Print-on-demand is a very lucrative opportunity for e-commerce and drop shippers. It enables you to sell items like clothing. The beauty is within the name of the industry, print-on-demand. You only print on the demand that you get sales. So let's say somebody comes to your Shopify store, places an order on a t-shirt that you designed, then the company Gelato works with one of their best providers to get that order sent and shipped to your customer. That way you're not risking any inventory and you're saving money on costs. Now the great thing about Gelato is they have the best network of suppliers when it comes to print on demand and they have them all over the world. That way they can ensure very fast delivery times as low as a few days and to make sure the product quality is as high as possible. It is super easy to sign up for Gelato, create an account using my exclusive link, that way you're going to get 50% off your first order and it's completely free to sign up and once you've signed up you connect it with your e-commerce platform which primarily will be most of you guys using Shopify. As soon as you've linked it with your Shopify store you can start creating lots of designs designs on loads of different products that they have in their catalog. And all you need to do to check what products they have is go to their catalog page, scroll through all the catalog. That way you can choose a wide range of products from their catalog like t-shirts, jackets, pillowcases, mugs, and you can choose the colors. What type of printing is it going to be? Is it going to be embroidered or is it going to be screen printed? You can choose a wide set of options for your needs. And as soon as you've created a design, you can save them to your store and start selling them on your e-commerce platform. Now that's not all guys. Gelato have even more features that you can check out in your home dashboard that you must take advantage of if you want to get the best opportunity within the print on demand industry. Now, some of the biggest dropshippers in the world combine normal dropshipping with print on demand to maximize average order value. That's why it's essential to incorporate print on demand with your dropshipping stores and your e commerce businesses. And there is no other place to do it than with Gelato. So make sure you check them out with the link in the description to get 50% off your first order. And thank you again, Gelato, for sponsoring today's video. Let's move move on to a big big topic right now which is tiktok shop by the way i love tiktok shop i've got a few friends doing some insane numbers with drop shipping tiktok shop so how do you feel about it right now i should have hopped on it a lot earlier mm. than i did 
where I, I still haven't really hopped on it. Why have you not hopped on it? I feel like it's one of those shiny object syndrome things. So I don't want to switch to one thing and do something but else. But why not try one new product with shop and one without? Or test with both? Like, I am currently doing that. The first thing that I ever did, which wasn't my own product, like TikTok shop has its affiliate program. So mm -hmm. I ran some. Mm -hmm. I tested it to see whether it actually worked. And you know, TikTok shop just boosts views if you have a product on it. Yeah, for sure. So I literally just filmed around my house and then put some random funny sound on it. Mm -hmm. And I put some random funny text. And then the product was linked on it. Mm -hmm. And I got 1.3 million views. Wow. You will never, ever, ever, ever get that. Without if, TikTok shop. Yeah. I was like, what? And then I, I, I did like 1K profits with that, which is very low compared to what I've had. But yeah, I still made money from it. So it was, it's, I know for a fact it works. TikTok is promoting videos because they want to promote their shop feature. It's not like fully, fully, fully organic. I don't know how long this is going to last. I'm sure as long as the viewers, the viewership on TikTok doesn't go down. And, oh, I think probably 2024, 2025, then it will slowly decline out. And that's my opinion on it. One of the most important questions that for most of the viewers is, how do you stay on top of the TikTok algorithm? So at the end of the day, it's people watching your videos. It's not an algorithm. And also you like, you don't really have to think outside the box. Like there are people who blow up out of nowhere and you get a random viral video you could just copy their video like there's no need to be the first to think of you don't need to be innovative or anything as long as people are going viral on tiktok there's an opportunity for you to go viral on tiktok mm. now mikey's dropped some insane value so let's kind of go back in this time lapse in terms of the early days because a lot of people watch our youtube videos they look up to us they think that we're some amazing crazy people that achieve these ex these things well i'm gonna ask you a few questions about your early early days which is talk to me about how you grew up i mean i'm not going to come and say like i grew up from some i grew up in the slums or anything mm -hmm. i was well off like my parents did their job they took care of me food on the table house everything i actually went to the uk equivalent of a private school i knew that i did not want to fall into the system of get a job go through all of that so but I, did you grow up here or did you grow up in ghana okay so i grew up in ghana i was born here and they brought me straight back to ghana and i've been in ghana basically my whole life but i do have the uk passports you know <laughs> so i can go anywhere but yeah i was born here moved me to ghana and i've been in ghana basically my whole life and i finished my university my parents were basically like okay i done with university next stage is do your masters and I did not want to do that. Like, I felt like I already wasted my time. Like, I'm 25, and obviously, you don't need to worry about that. But, like, you see people like, yo, bro, how old are you? 24. You are young, you're younger than me. Yeah, I'm younger than you, bro. <laughs> yeah, make it way more money than me. So, it's like, you see people, like, I literally saw people like you, Beheza, Seb, mm. Seb, all these people, Jordan Welch. They are all of you are younger than me, bro. I feel like I look older than you, though. You do, you do. I mean, you got the baby face. Relax, bro. The, the beard will come at the end of the year. Relax. <laughs> I'm working on it. Take you to Turkey, bro. Get a hair transplant. Nah, it's not that deep. Yeah, so all of you guys, I've seen all of you guys younger than me, and it does kind of, it shouldn't, but it does kind of get to you. So I didn't really want to do masters. I felt like there was a world out there, the whole new world. Now, in 2024, you've achieved a lot of success since your early days. What is your natural? Now, in order if you want to share it with us what is your biggest income streams most people that are watching this are going to think you're getting paid loads of money from youtube you're Bro, balling you, you guys <laughs> this channel makes okay money but after i've paid all the staff everything i'm um, after tax just not much so okay okay i can i can say what i made from my latest youtube video i can show that so let me record my screen latest youtube video right now is at seventy four thousand views i've made 895 dollars that's insane. Yeah. So the CPM, the CPM is like CPM is twenty seven, RPM is thirteen. So it's, drop shipping still your main income. Yeah, because this averages to like two thousand five hundred dollars a month. So what are your goals for the next three years? It could be financially, it could be your own personal life, family, getting married. I don't know what it could be. What whatever it could be. Okay, so I want to have a million pounds in the bank at the end of this year what will that what why why that number everyone has a number you've given it now what is that number for you so let's say you've got a million dollars right now in your checking account i'm retiring you won't hear from me again i'm gone mikey again is over like if you check if you check <laughs> if you check my channel like the description is journey to one million dollars what about you what about getting married what about 
getting closer with your family does that exist well in terms of getting closer with my family first of all the money will help give everybody more freedom more time like if i could retire everybody that's that's cool then i'll have more time with family like married you're a playboy <laughs> like there's plenty of time like marriage like i don't think i'm thinking about that for at least the next four or five years i'm like it's not on my mind like it's not on my mind thank you so much marky for coming out here today and sitting down with me for a few hours and talking about your journey and all this valuable stuff i want to start off by saying you've really inspired me on how to get really good in front of the camera you know the way you've approached the youtube scene with your drop shipping channel uh, the way you do your videos are really really good so i just want to say a massive thank you and congratulations and i hope you oh. get to 1 million subs asap well, yeah, thank you very much for having me like it's a, like it's so weird like like i've been watching you for a very 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 long time and the amount of value you put out is ridiculous on behalf of all the beginners on behalf of all the job shippers i'd like to say a big thank you for putting out all the value you thank you for having me thank you for being the ecom king and i hope we i hope we do this again soon i appreciate it man this is going to be epic